All right, so when it comes to the threat of, of a tsunami, you may only have you know minutes to get to safety, and we know that getting into a car might not be an option. Right, because yeah. everyone else is going to be in their cars and the roads could be locked. So the State Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, is here once again to help us break all this down, find out what it means in like plain English here at 7.30. People are having their coffee. They're not thinking about a tsunami. So let's just start with the big picture. Why is this important? This is important, first of all, because we are likely to have an earthquake. Every 300 to 600 years, we see a major earthquake in this area. We are at year 319. So we are right within the window of a significant earthquake. Post-earthquake, we quickly have tsunamis. And it's very important that we're providing the information for people to be able to be safe so they can get to high ground as quickly as possible. And that means where is high ground at? and how long will it take to walk there uh, so people can get to that safe area. What goes into the thought behind the tsunami escape maps? Like how does that all come together? Is there data or research that says this will be the safest place or this is where you need to go? That's right. So we've done modeling that shows post earthquake one, how high the waves will be. Uh, like the place of Long Beach, it would be about a 60 foot wave. Mm. Bellingham, 13 feet, Seattle area, three feet. We then also talk about uh, and show how, what the timing of that is. So in Long Beach, you might see that way within 15 minutes of that earthquake. And it gives uh, also the understanding of where is those evacuation routes. Roads may be gone, right? Or not able to be utilized because of the earthquake, whether it's traffic or it's because that, has, that infrastructure is lost. And so we show the routes not only by road, but also trails. We show the topography of the landscape, whether there's wetlands, other areas that would prevent them from getting there. The key is to show them where that high ground is, how much time it will take them to walk there so they can start to plan and be as safe as possible. We want you to, if you will, please take a walk up with us in our studio to our Microsoft Surface Hub where we can zero in on this and tell people what, what we're talking about. And, and to me, having done a handful of stories on this, part of the uh, initial, I think, uh, sentiment is fear. Like, what? I mean, it's a tsunami? It's like, but if you have some information, it can help and it can literally help save your life, right? Because if the earthquake happens at two in the morning, you, if it's already in your memory, you know, mind about where to go, you're not trying to Google at that point when all the systems are down. So that's, that's in, right. in large part what we're trying to do. So what we did is we picked Port Townsend. There are four maps uh, that you've created. And here, John, if you'd step quickly to your right, we're going to, I think, get it on camera four because we can zoom in and get this uh, real well here. Let's, if we can, can we do that, guys? Can we take camera four? It'll, it'll be able to zoom in a little quicker. Anyway, we've, we've, picked, we've zeroed in on Port Towns in one of the four maps. And tell us if you can what some of these, you have little numbers and circles here, routes, some of the a map is yellow. Walk us through That's what right. Is. So the first thing it tells you immediately is where is the safe ground. Anything in this brown area is that safe area that people can be safe and know with a tsunami they're going to be okay. okay. It then shows them obviously the yellow uh, mustard color um, that this is not a safe area. They need to be getting out of these areas. The numbers show you how long it will take to walk from that unsafe area to a safe area. These uh, redder lines are roads that they will be there to walk. And then we also have trail access. You'll see some of the dotted lines. Um, and the dark red shows you that evacuation path. And I, I'm assuming this is just higher ground, this yellow area, right? But the topography right, must be. That's right. So here is, it's going to take you 25 minutes, mm -hmm. right, to get out of this area and get up to that high ground safe location. It's showing you a route to get there. Obviously through this, you could take the road if it's available and then to a trail um, or all along this trail. So let me quickly ask you, this is super, super helpful and it can literally save people's lives in Port Townsend. Uh, some of the other maps are sort of centered towards Vancouver and Portland. What about the rest of the people who live on the coast, Nia Bay and all over, like what, they're saying, well, that's great. What about, what about us? Right. So we have have some keyers like Long Beach area, Westport, and where you'll actually see, if you look down here, is some dark red. Mm -hmm. This dark red shows you where you've got 60 minutes. Um, it's going to take you to get from that danger zone, which that is possible the wave will hit in 15 minutes, right? So you got 60 minutes to get to a safe area, and we've mapped that. Okay. Again, the key point is for people to one, 
know how quick a time they have, mm -hmm. what's the safest way they can get to high ground, where that high ground is. We are also using this as an opportunity for those communities to start investing in creating buildings and structures that create safety. Like the school district of Acosta has built a school building that enables their kids to actually go to the top of the roof mm -hmm. and be at high ground without even leaving the structure. It's just such a relief for the kids, for the parents as well. We are out of time. Hillary, as always, we appreciate your Thank time. You. Thanks for hanging out with us here on, uh, on Kong. That's such good information. Thank yeah. you.